Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna do a recipe, beef combined with liver hearts. So it's beef hearts and liver hearts. And I tried to do this video a while ago and my I record on my phone and I had a phone call come in so it ruined my video. So I'm on do not disturb and I won't get this hopefully messed up. Uh, before I start with the video, I have to tell you a really funny story. So I normally shop at um, like a Wegmans or a Safeway, kind of, I don't want to say upscale. It's not a Whole Foods, but it's, you know, it's a decent grocery store. But I went somewhere else today. I won't mention the name um, because I wanted to get organ meat. And I know they have everything there. You know, they have pig feet, they have beef tongue, everything. So I went and I was uh, looking for beef hearts and because uh, I'm doing this recipe for a friend of mine's dog who has cancer, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but I looked at the beef hearts and I noticed the expiration date was in two days from now. And I didn't like that. I'm really weird about uh, dates. So the butcher was there and I said, excuse me, do you have any beef hearts in the back that <clears throat> uh, have a better expiration date. Now, mind you, today's Valentine's Day. Actually, I'm just thinking about that any, now. And I said, because I don't want to get this. I'm cooking. I cook for dogs. I'm a YouTuber, and I'm cooking for a friend's dog who has cancer. And he says, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And he starts to walk away. And he's, I'll take care of you with the hearts. And then he turns around, and he says, for you, I'll give you my heart, all of my hearts. <laughs> I really had a laugh. And uh, when he came back, I, it was really cute. I said, you know, you really made my day and it's kind of funny. And I asked if I could have a picture with him, which I did. I'm going to post it on YouTube. And he had an accent and um, he was somewhat attractive. And I asked him where he was from. And he said he's from Lebanon. And um, I was started to have a big conversation with him because I love Lebanese food, Turkish food. I just love it all. I love the flavors. I'm just a food addict. Food gives me love. Anyway, I thought I would share that story with you. But now I'm going to try to move the camera so you could not see me. I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. So hold on one second as I try to put this down here. Okay, I think you can see it now. And now you can see that I have beef liver. It's a package of beef liver that I got fresh at the store and beef hearts. Now, let me talk to you about these beef hearts as I put everything in. The last time I'm putting in the liver right now, you wanna cut it off. You don't wanna put the whole long thing in cause it's gonna take longer for it to process. And you don't wanna you know, work your machine. But the last time I bought beef hearts, I got it at Wegmans and it was sliced beef hearts. So I opened the package and it was cool, it was sliced and there was some fat that I had to take off. But at the store that I went to today, all they had was the whole beef heart. And let me tell you, I had to use this tool right here quite a bit. It worked quite a bit. It's going right in the dishwasher after the video because I had to cut off so much fat. Not only that, but I had to cut through the beef heart because it wasn't sliced already. I'm cutting some right now because I didn't want to put the whole heart. I, I've never, you know, seen a whole heart and it's, it's heavy. It's, it's full of good stuff, but you don't want your machine to work hard and you want to have even pieces. It's like when you bake potatoes, you know, to make mashed potatoes, you want everything to be even Steven. So it bakes. So I took as much fat off that I could. It had a lot of fat on it. And I'm putting everything now in my food processor. And if you notice, my DOG is upstairs, which is good because I don't want to hold her right now with my hands so dirty. Okay, so I'm going to take my gloves off. You got to wear gloves when you're handling food like that. And I'm gonna get my top. And I'm gonna mix this up. Now, before I do that, I wanna move things 
so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, let's see here. But this is all about you seeing what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put it on pulse for a second, not just to mix it up. Put it on low. Good. I want it to be a little bit better. Okay, now let's see how this is now. It's very good. I'm going to show you the consistency of it because you want it to be all broken down. I'm going to put this this way. Hope my food processor doesn't fall. But do you see? how it's all mixed, there's no chunks. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. You gotta have a food processor for this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I haven't chopped any of this up yet because I wanted to talk to you while I was doing this. So I have some garlic here even though I'm putting it in the food processor. I wanna cut it up because I wanna make sure that this garlic gets evenly distributed throughout the recipe. I have some parsley that I'm gonna put in. This is gonna make your house smell so nice too. And I'm gonna turn this a little bit and I have shiitake mushrooms. And shiitake mushrooms are known to be a cancer-fighting food. And I'm making this recipe for a friend of mine who has an eight-year-old Siberian Husky named Misty. And a couple months ago, they noticed overnight, it was like, I think it was January 1st, New Year's Eve or something, that she had a tumor, or she had a growth, I should say, on her front leg and they brought her to the doctor and they did surgery $3,500 later and they said that she had a soft cell sarcoma but they shipped off the pathology to UC Davis because that's where the vet went to vet school to get a second opinion and it came back, I had it written out here what it came back as, I wanted to tell you. Um, she has a, a localized histolic, histos, histosict sarcoma. And it's localized, so they're thinking that's good, that it won't spread. But it's interesting because the, she, they went to two oncologists, um, and after the pathology came back, the oncologist they went to, the husband asked, you know, this is where she got all her vaccines. Do you, do you think the vaccines had anything to do with this cancer? And the vet said, you know, it's rare. However, he said, or she said, I don't know what it was, he or she said, that I've seen four dogs this week come in with the same cancer. And I've heard that vets give the vaccines in the leg in case a cancer comes, they could amputate the, dog, the dog's leg to save the dog. So I, I'm not here to talk to you about vaccines. I'm just throwing that out to you. Uh, this sweet dog was fed kibble all of her life. Um, you know, she's known me for quite a few years and she has put fresh food as a topper, which is great. That's just fantastic. But now she is going towards a more, a more fresh food approach, even though there is no diet for dogs that have cancer. I, I 
did my own research and I asked her, did the vet say, you know, what you can or cannot feed the dog? And she said, nope. But <clears throat> feeding the dog fresh food is the best thing you can do to help your dog. And I am making this for Misty today, um, some beef liver cakes, because it's very healthy. The, um, as I've always told you, you should have 10% organ meat in your recipe, where 5% of it is beef liver. And the hearts are excellent source of vitamin B, iron, and essential B vitamins and fatty acids. And the liver contains a hundred times more nutrients than beef. Liver is an organ. You know, beef, ground beef is, is the meat, the muscle, I guess, no matter whatever that is. Anyway, doesn't this look beautiful? So I'm gonna make this for Misty today and it's not gonna be her meal. The Misty's mommy's gonna put 10% of the liver cakes, I'll cut them in liver cakes, into her diet each day. You do not, can you see me? You can't even see me. You do not wanna put more than 10% organ meat in a dog's diet because they will get poopy, poopy diarrhea. It's too much, too rich. Only 10%. Remember that. So I'm going to go ahead and add an egg. See, can you see me? How can you see me? Can I go up further? Yeah. I'm adding an egg. I don't know why I'm adding an egg, but I am. <clears throat> Just some added nutrients. And I don't know if you guys know, but I just got my certification in basic canine nutrition. I'm very excited about that. I will be taking more classes. My goal, my only goal here is to get people to realize they gotta get their dogs off of kibble. I don't care if you do a mail order dog food thing, which is gonna be really extensive, or if you do raw feeding, that's not for me, but it is for others and it's not for all dogs either. A lot of dogs are too sensitive stomachs for the raw feeding. I personally feel that home cooking is the way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. it some more because I see some white bits. It's the mushrooms, but I just want to make sure it's all mixed in. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let me show you the consistency of this. Let me move this away. Excuse me one minute. Get it totally out of the way so we can look at the consistency. You know what, it smells good already. Don't be scared by liver and heart. You put a little garlic in it, parsley. You can put some other stuff in it if you want. I'm not doing the turmeric today. Um, I don't know how that turmeric would act with her getting, she, the dog's getting chemotherapy and I just don't want to risk it. Um, but do you see how beautiful it is? Let's show you on the port. I have a pan here. It's not that big of a pan. I couldn't tell you how many inches it is. This would be, I don't know. You know me, I don't, I don't measure stuff, I'm sorry. I give you information, I try to inspire you, where are you, to home cook. All right, you gotta eyeball stuff sometimes. Okay, so now 
I got to get all of this out here. I could have done a bigger sheet pan, and I was debating if I should. That would have given me a less dense, less thick liver cake. And I maybe should have done that. Since liver beef heart. This will just have to cook longer in the oven. You'll have to check it. The goal is for it just to be set. And then what I do, I'm gonna get a, uh, I like to get every last bit. I'm not like on TV where they don't clean the bowls and they don't wear aprons. That's not real. I'm real people. And I try to be very honest with you. Anyway, so I'm, after this is cooked, I'm gonna get a pizza cutter and I'll cut them into squares, probably the size of a Triscuit. And then my friend will have to decide how much to put into Misty's food bowl, because again, she only wants 10%. Trust me, I learned the hard way many years ago, giving my dog too much liver and salmon treats. And that poor dog was sick for quite a few days. But I've been doing this now for 10 years and I just wanna share my knowledge and my love for, you, for cooking to you, for you. Anyway, how does this look? Can you see how pretty that is? So I'm gonna put this into an oven and my house is gonna smell magnificent and when it's done i'm going to bring it over to my friend to help her dog get strong and get good nutrients so she can get rid of this cancer so that's it well this was a long video <laughs>